put the put the shoe down. Put the, this is very important. This is put it down. Put the shoe down. Put it down. Put the shoe down. Put it down. Yeah. Um, the high tide uh, exists primarily to uh, develop and produce uh, emerging writers. So an emphasis on text-based theatre. Um, but uh, over the years, we've worked. Um, with emerging directors, designers and actors. Um, and the principle behind it is to source new plays at the beginning of writers' careers, develop them over a course of time, um, and then produce them at the annual festival that we run in Suffolk. The Genesis Lab is a great opportunity for emerging artists. As one, I've been emerging for five years now. It's an opportunity, a supported opportunity, to um, be bold and exciting and to really test your practice, your material. Um, I mean, space is, is a premium, so access to a space for a week, um, support with the, the costs involved in workshopping and experimenting is great. My name is Frances Cowig and I'm a playwright from the United States in London for three weeks rehearsing my play Lidless for the High Tide Festival and also developing my play for Tengan for one week with the Genesis Labs. It's very interesting to see my work developed in the Genesis Laboratory because I'm just not used to working in the UK at all so this is really just my cultural immersion to try to kind of get a sense of what work is like here, what the lives of the actors and the directors are like here, and kind of just understand the systems of new play development in this country as a whole. In the Genesis Laboratory this week as part of on 410, um, we are looking to really engage with the physical life of the play. It's slightly different, the play, because it's had two unprofessional productions and has been developed quite a lot. So yesterday we had a really great day sort of working in detail and actually realised that what would be most useful for the script and for Francis is to is to throw a curveball and to see what we could generate in the workshops. So we've been doing lots of improvisation, lots of games, um, and looking at backstory, looking at things that we don't see in the play and what those might have been like. I'm really excited about uh, being able to um, champion really exciting practitioners through the Genesis Labs. Yeah? No. Oh, sorry, buddy. That's disgusting, mate. What? Uh, I, I'm. Uh, it's very offensive. I'm very sorry. Do you know where you are? Forty-nine days you've travelled through with your thoughts, with your pain, and you can forget about all that. You can forget about the cutting, about killing yourself. All you have to do is drink this soup, and you will forget everything, and your life will be beautiful, and you will live in heaven. Put this on your head. Yeah. Oh, hat. Yeah. Hat. Yes. Mm. Hat. Mm. What's this hat for? Well, it's it's just to wear, and sometimes. Sometimes it just helps you, it just helps you do what I want you to do. The Genesis Foundation brings a huge amount to this. I mean, uh, you know, first and foremost, um, it brings uh, the finances, and uh, without which um, the whole thing wouldn't exist. And, um, but kind of wider than that, um, the ethos upon which the Genesis Foundation is built um, is a very similar um, ethos to ours and that is one of uh, nurturing talent at the, at the beginning of their career and really creating a system, a kind of protective system around that and constantly ask, uh, asking the artist throughout the process, is this, is this working for you, is this, the way, is this the best way to be pushing you? The Genesis Labs are, are intended first and foremost as an kind of open access program to invite um, a huge number of uh, developing artists of different forms. Um, but it's also looking at, um, just as in what we've been doing for the last few years, is not just development but production and importantly, that whole journey.